Okay, uh, we will uh, continue our uh, chapter 10 uh, in this subject, which is uh, statics and mechanics of materials. So for today, we will discuss uh, our chapter of torsion. Okay. So before this, in uh, solid mechanics, you have learned about the normal stress. Okay. The normal stress sigma is equal to P or F, P or F over A. And then you have learned also our uh, shear stress, sorry. Shear stress is uh, tau equals to V over A, okay. And uh, you have uh, learned also our uh, stress strain diagram. And the stress strain diagram is different for, uh, different in uh, materials. The diagram is different, in, depend on the materials. And from the uh, diagram, we also have a uh, Hooke's law, okay? So Hooke's law is, Sigma is equals to modulus yang and strain. Okay. After that, uh, you have looked also on the uh, elongation. Okay. Uh, the elongation, uh, which is delta is equals to P L over E B. Okay. That is the uh, elong elongation uh, for the component. And we have uh, discussed uh, about the uh, chapters. All right, so this week, uh, we will discuss about our uh, torsion. So torsion is a load given to uh, our structure, okay? Torsional deformation of a circular shaft. Torque is a moment that twists a member about its longitudinal axis. Okay. Um, if uh, there are two loads that uh, uh, there are people that cannot see, uh, the different of uh, torsion and bending, okay? So uh, torsion, we call it as a uh, top that uh, acting uh, on the longitudinal axis. So we have our axis, okay? We have our axis and the top is acting on the longitudinal axis. We have the axis. So if we look from the uh, front, okay, if we look from the front, we can see that this is the axis and the top is acting, <coughs> circling the uh, axis, okay? So this is a uh, torsion or a top. If the angle of rotation is small, if the angle of rotation is small, the length of the shaft and its radius will remain unchanged. So if we have very small uh, <clears throat> sorry, the angle the angle of rotation is small. If the angle rotation, this is the angle of rotation is small the length of the shaft and its radius will remain unchanged. So, it's mean the line that we have here, we have the line, this is what we can see. When we rotate our beam, okay? If it is, the angle rotation is too small. 
So the line will remain straight with no angle, such like that. Okay, and the radius will remain unchanged. When material is uh, detection formula, when material is linear elastic, so this is linear elastic still in a uh, diagram of Hooke's law. Okay. Hooke's law said that when uh, we give the load, the structure will deform. And if we release the load, the structure will get back to um, their original uh, face, original uh, place. Okay. A linear variation in shear strain leads to a corresponding linear variation in shear stress. So, uh, shear strain, shear strain ni, um, shear lah, okay? Leads to a corresponding linear variation in shear stress. So, the linear lah, makin tinggi, uh, shear strain, uh, shear stress makin tinggi. Along any radial line, any radial line on the cross section. So, kita ada, um, top yang bertindak okay. we have uh, top and uh, the top act on the shaft or beam and it is acting from the center to to update radius okay so um it is uh, depend on us um, where to look at our uh, the position of uh, tau okay the position of uh, tau for our uh, shaft beam okay uh, the equation is uh, tau is equals to pc over j j is a second uh, sorry a polar moment of inertia j and <clears throat> we have uh, two types not two types normally we note it as c rho and the other one is tau is equals to tr over j okay r or rho or c okay normally c is the maximum one so c is the outer radius okay c is the outer so uh, from the figure c is this one normally the maximum radius okay or rho any point any point from the center okay so it depends uh, where we want to look our uh, tau so it depends c rho or r but it is the same as long as you know your uh, value for radius and maximum radius okay so we have <clears throat> Tau is equals to Tc over J. And J is polar moment of inertia of cross-sectional area. Dia macam I. Belum ni kita belajar <coughs> second moment of inertia. Okay. Um, yang uh, gravity. I equals to BD to the power of 3 divided by 12. So itu uh, second moment of inertia. So ini <coughs> untuk uh, J. Okay. So uh, tau is the value. Tau ni dia sama macam uh, sigma. Okay. Sama macam sigma. Dia adalah um, stress. Okay. So dia adalah shear stress. Tau ni adalah shear stress. Bahasa Melayu dia daya ricik. Okay. T. 
T ni dia umpama uh, dia adalah load load dan dia umpama P kalau normal stress tu P lah load given so T ni adalah ni, ni lighter top, load ok T tu adalah load dan uh, diberikan atau kita kena kira so kita kena tahu lah C tu adalah uh, radius ataupun uh, maximum radius ok J adalah depend on shape ok so J pun ada rumus dia kalau uh, beam circular J equals to point over to C to the power of 4 ok nanti kita tengok uh, beam dan juga follow beam so for torsion and torque inilah rumus yang kita ada tau is equals to T C over J ok um, ok so uh, tau is equals to T C over J so ini J J for a solid circular solid circular cross section J is equal to pi over 2 C to the power of 4. Okay. Tak kira. J ni kena ambil C ni adalah R maksimum. Tak kira kat mana titik yang kita nak ambil ni. Tak kira. Kalau kita ada titik contoh. Contoh yang um, from the graph. If you want to look at this one. This one. So that is depend on DC ok but J is still the same you are using the maximum the maximum radius of the cross section ok so TC over J so J for a tubular or hollow hollow beam cross section so we have C outer minus C inner. And please, please don't do like this. It is uh, totally wrong. It's fine. Okay, please remember that the power is inside the bracket for each of our um, radius. Okay, so for solid circular shaft is pi over 2 c to the power of 4 and for hollow beam c inner to the power of 4 minus, uh, sorry, c outer to the power of 4 minus C inner uh, to the power of 4. Okay, so now you have tau is equals to TC over J and you have J is equals to pi over 2 C to the power of 4. Okay, so that is two equations uh, involved and now uh, this is the example. The solid shaft of radius C is subjected to a torque. So this is P. So we have P tau is equal to P C over J. Uh, so T, find the fraction of T that is resisted by the material contained within the outer region of the shaft which has an inner radius so this is uh, c outer and c inner and uh, okay so outer region so this is uh, outer radius c outer okay so this is the hollow beam and this is uh, to calculate uh, the fraction of T, okay.
All right. So we have tau is equals to uh, stress and shaft linearly. It is linearly tau is equals to rho over c tau max. Okay. Tidak ada apa-apa pun. Just uh, uh, proving. Okay. The torque on the ring located within the lighter shaded region. region okay. So we have a uh, we have an uh, area and also the uh, shaded uh, region because this is the hollow. Okay. So we will look at the uh, row and also this one. Okay. So the region of row tau da. Okay, so this is our uh, DA and it is also depend on DP. So this is the uh, integration and finally we get an equation. Then using the torsion formula, uh, we use the formula and we get the uh, fraction of the top because it is from inside. So this is only the uh, to show the integration of top for this area is 15 over 16 times t. Okay, all right. So the another thing is from tau over uh, tau is equals to Tc over j, and then we have j equals to pi over two c to the power of four. Okay, so put your j inside the tau Tc over pi over two c to the power of four, and then you can eliminate your 1c and it is equals to 2p over pi c to the power of 3. Okay, so this is where it comes uh, from for the tau maximum. Okay, we will look uh, for the example. Okay, so now uh, we are given the shaft uh, rotating okay the shaft shown in uh, figure below supported by two bearings this is actually the bearings uh, supported by two uh, bearings and is subjected to three torques so three torques uh, one two and three determine the shear stress developed shear stress developed at points A and B located A and B located at section AA so here located here so we have okay okay here A and B okay so there are uh, two points located at section A, uh, AA, the cross section of AA, and we have two points to analyze, which is point A and point B. So from tau is equals to P C over J. you can uh, calculate your j okay because given radius is 75 mm so j is equals to pi over 2 0 0.075 to the power of 4 c c is depend on the point of A and B 
So point B is 15 mm. Point A is the maximum, 75 mm. So for A, we use 75 mm. And for B, we use 15 mm. And now you need to calculate your T. How do you calculate your T? You need to cut that one and uh, calculate the value of top. So this is top, this is top, this is top. Okay, so uh, to calculate uh, the top, look here. Okay, we cut through AA and then we can uh, calculate the top, which is if we look here. Okay, you can uh, see that the moment, which is actually a a top in x direction. Okay, so the uh, counterclockwise is uh, positive. So we have positive for two fifty minus three thousand uh, clockwise minus t. Okay, so for two fifty three thousand and T. So T is equals to 1250 kN mm. Okay, and then calculate your J. So you have your uh, top, calculate your J, and then you can calculate your point A. This is A. Tau A is equals to this is the um, uh, radius, and you Calculate that one, and finally for B, look at the value of C. Okay, it is 15. So, uh, as I uh, said before, J is the maximum radius for the whole beam. Okay, so you need to uh, use the, the maximum unless it is hollow beam. So you need to use the equation for uh, hollow beam for polar moment in the shell. Okay, and then calculate your uh, shear stress at B depends on uh, 15 mm of the radius, and then you got your answer. Okay, so that is the uh, example. Now, we go for the uh, power transmission. So, tadi kita dah uh, tahu, tau is equal to T C over J, and J is equal to 5 over 2 C to the power of 4. So, now we are going to power. What uh, happened to power is actually the uh, top given when you have power okay you have torque uh, it is depend on the uh, power of your uh, power of your engine okay power of your motor okay we have uh, the uh, power uh, motor the power of your engine in kilowatt or in watt Okay, so um, power is defined as the work performed per unit time. For a rotating shaft with a top, the power is P is equals to T omega or omega is equal to 2 pi F. P is equals to T two pi F. Okay, and F 
F equals to the frequency. So frequency is per unit uh, time. Normally, normally uh, they give you um, they give you a number which is uh, revolutions per minute. They say revolutions per minute RPM. revolutions per minute revolutions per minute is rpm okay revolutions per minute is rpm and you need to change it to frequency so given there is revolution per minute and you need to change it to frequency so that you can get your P or they give you uh, power and you need to find your top T or the sharp. So you have uh, power and you have the revolutions per minute given and you need to find your top T. Okay, so F is uh per unit time so per second if they give you f in uh, rpm you need to change it to uh frequency okay let's see uh they give you 60 rpm 60 revolutions per minute. So to change it to frequency, F equals to N over 60. Because of, uh, this is N. Okay, N is number of revolutions. So N is 60 revolutions per minute. One minute is equals to 60 seconds. So that is why we need to change it to the unit of time. So F equals to 60 over 60 equals to 1. 1 hertz unit time. Okay. There are almost in the question given in RPM. Okay. Almost in the question. So now we have uh, the equation two pi f t. So you have f to change uh, n over sixty, and for the shelf design, this is for the shelf design uh, to calculate the uh, diameter. Okay, so you have j over c. Uh, it, it is it is equal to so tau is equal to p c over j, and then. Uh, they change it, uh, J over C is equal to uh, top over, allow over, shear stress. Okay? So they just change the uh, equation. Okay, let's have a look uh, the examples. Okay? A solid steel shaft AB, so AB shaft, is to be used um, to transmit 3750. This is, what is this? Power. Power is in what? From the motor M to which it is attached. So this is the motor. If the shaft rotates at omega is equal to 175. So uh, you have P is equal to T omega. Omega is equal to 2 pi F, F equals to N over 60. Okay, so you have P is equals to T, 2 pi N over 60. Okay, that is what it is here. 
equation. So now, from that, you can calculate your torque. So after you calculate your torque, then you can determine your tau is equal to Tc over J. Okay? And given allowable, this is given, this is you can calculate, torque J is given because of the, uh, uh, no, this is, uh, you need to calculate because J is uh, C. Okay? J is equal to pi over to C over 4. Okay? So, this is what you have and you need to find this one. You need to find C. How to design your shaft, your diameter of shaft. So, calculate using calculator, and then you get 10.92 millimeter. This is radius. So the diameter should be 2 times C, which is 21.84 mm, and it is equal to 22. Always take larger value. If, if your calculation Give you 21.02. Do not take 21. Okay? Go for larger values, 22 mm. Okay? It is not um, pembundaran. Okay? Uh, for the value, but the minimum value of your shaft okay All right so don't confuse so this is uh how you calculate how you determine your uh diameter shaft diameter okay okay so we have learned about the uh shear stress which is tau is equals to pi over j and uh j is equals to pi over 2 c to the power of 4 and then we have learned about uh, power transmission p is equals to t omega to get your t right and then for now the angle of twist angle of twist the equation is this one Okay, psi is equals to TL over JG. Assume material is homogeneous. So when you twist, it will perform the twisting homogeneously. Okay, so uh, this is what we assume. It is homogeneous and uh, the twist angle is equals to TL over JG. You know J, you can calculate if you have C. Okay, G is a uh, constant normally given in the uh, this is constant and it is depends on material. Okay, it is depend on uh, your materials, uh, brass, uh, stainless steel, um, copper. So it is uh, depends on the material. Normally, they will give you in the question, but if they didn't give in the question, they uh, you need to find it from the appendix. Okay, the table of uh, materials or material properties. So it will uh, give you the value of G. L, L is the length of your shaft. L is the length of your shaft and T is the top. 
P is the top top value in Newton meter. So sign convention is by right hand rule. And the angle of twist, okay, angle of twist is we have top. Okay, we have top. Before this, we have the elongation. Elongation is depends on PL over AE. Okay, PL over AE. And uh, from the previous chapter, we have learned that if we have uh, a force like the one here, here, Okay, so we need to perform the uh, cutting region to get our P. It is the same in uh, the angle of twist. So the total angle of twist is the summation of sigma sorry sine one side two side three if we have top one top two top three so we need to cut between the region and then we need to calculate the value of top so they are different in uh the summation is different when we have different top, different material, different cross section, and different length. This one. Okay. The question where should we cut? It is the same as that one. Okay, summer. Macam mana kita nak uh, cut, macam mana, uh, how do we uh, calculate the summation of angle of twist. Okay, so we cut into region and then we calculate each of the angle of twist and then we sum it all. Okay, so all is equals to summation of PL over G. Okay, so that is the angle of twist. So you can um, imagine that if you have your hand and then you give top and then here you give another top and then this one is the same, the top. So that is the uh, what is the total angle twist here? Twist again here, and then it is reverse. The other uh, reverse. So it is the summation for all of the uh, angle of twist. Okay, so that is the angle of twist. Example. Okay. okay. So this is the example. The gear attached to the fixed end steel shaft are subjected to the torque shown in figure. So to tie the 150 newton meter so in a top in a top in a top so in the l in the l in the l okay ni l untuk setiap uh, nilai top tu lah tadi yang berbeza uh, if the shear modulus of elasticity elasticity is g is equals to 80 giga pascal so we have angle of twist is equals to pl over jg 
So G dah ada. So kena cari J. L dah ada. T diberikan cuma kena calculate lah. Kena analysis. And the shaft has a diameter of 14mm. So um, J is equals to pi over 2 C is to the power of 4. So C is equals to 7mm. C is uh, radius. Okay. So diameter 14, C is uh, 7. Determine the displacement of the tooth P on gear A. Tooth P on gear A. The shaft turns freely within the bearing at B. So I just support uh, bearing uh, freely. So whenever you have a different value of uh, top, so you need to cut the region. Okay. So uh, this is region one, this is region two, this is region three. And then uh, you can calculate your uh, value of top. It is uh, the other uh, direction. Okay. And then we have TAC is equals to 150 meter. It is normally TAC minus, so I'm sorry. Kalau kita tengok daripada depan, senang. So, 150 minus PAC equals to 0. PAC equals to 150 meter. Okay. Uh, same as this one, you can calculate your PCD and calculate your TD. Okay. So look at the arrow. Okay. Look at uh, the arrow, which is uh, negative and which is uh, positive. All right. So from uh, from this one, okay, we have sign convention is determined by right hand rule. So this is the right hand rule. So for this one, you look at from here, it is 150 Newton meter, right hand rule positive. Look at here, right hand rule negative, and here also right hand rule negative. So region one positive, TSC 150 positive, the others is uh, negative. So 150 positive, negative and negative. Okay, so we have the summation of TL over JG. You need, G is given, J you can calculate for the shaft. So J, uh, you have calculated your uh, top and you need to find it in your L. Okay, so this one here, you have L is equals to 0 0.4, 0 0.3, and 0 0.5. It just depends on the region that you have uh, calculated. 0. Point, what is it? 4, 3, 5. 0.3, So this is your L. And then the value is in radian. The value is in radian. And uh, you can change it to Theta, the twist angle, theta in degree. Okay. 180 degree is equals to pi radian. So 0 0.212 radian 
times 180 divided by 5. So to change it, 0 0.212 radian times 180 degree divided by 5. So your answer will be in degree. Right? So we move to uh, the, the last example, the last one, okay, last. Uh, last uh, example, the solid steel shaft has a diameter of 20 mm, D, so we need to see is 10 mm. If it is subjected to the two torques to determine the reaction at the fixed support uh, A and B. So they not think of the uh, fixed support, so kita Cut, uh. Okay, so kita uh, cut dan uh, kita calculate dia punya top. Okay, and the reactions. So kita calculate uh, uh, from the free body diagram, we, this one, okay. And we have TV on NTA. So we cannot solve the equation. And then we need another equation. And we know that uh, psi A, no, it is fixed. It is fixed. So no. Still, no angle, no twist angle for both ends. Okay? No twist angle for both ends. So we have uh, developed another equation for psi is equals to TL, so TL over JG equals to zero. Okay? So kita ada T, TA and TB, L, J and G. Summer, which is uh, we can uh, later eliminate. Okay, so we have another uh, equation with TA and TB, so we can solve uh, two unknowns, which is TA and TB, if we have two equations. Okay, so this one put inside this one, so we can solve the and okay so that is uh, the lecture for uh, the lecture for uh, Toshan our chapter 10 but uh, class I have uh, upload um, I have uploaded so in the uh, you learn Okay, I have uploaded also in uh, Ulen for uh, extra here. I have explained this slide is chapter 10 to 10 dash 2. What I have explained just now. And this is uh, the extra notes or slides uh, for you to understand about uh, torque or torsional load. Okay, so this is the uh, torsional uh, shaft dimension. So this is the difference between um, circular uh, beam and non-circular beam. Okay, 
So dalam soalan normally about shaft and uh, for power motor rotating parts normally we are using shaft with circular circle dimension not a uh, square or rectangle normally there is uh, because of the uh, angle of twist okay so ada masalah kalau kita gunakan straight tak um, kita tak nampak um, rotating shaft yang guna uh, square beam okay rectangle beam Okay, so this is the same. Tau max if it's equals to PC over J. Uh, this is how the um, polar moment of inertia come from. Okay, this is uh, how uh, J comes from. And uh, J is equals to 2 times I, second moment of inertia. Okay, so uh, this is... Uh, uh, tau max is equal to TR over J. And this is the same examples that we have uh, go through. And this is another example that you can have uh, a look. This is the example. Uh, we need to calculate the T, top. And then we can calculate our uh, shear stress. And this is uh, power. So we have uh, P5000. Uh, and then we have omega uh, 4000, oh sorry, 400 revolution per minute. So T, uh, P is equals to T omega. Omega is equals to 2 pi F. F equals to N over 60. So masukkan, then you can uh, calculate. Okay, so ini uh, equation. This is angle of twist. Angle of twist is uh, sign is equals to TL over JG, it's the same. And then the uh, sign convention, and then this is the uh, same example that we have uh, learned, and this is how uh, that time and brittle, and another uh, sample problem for uh, twist. Okay, how to calculate your torque and then uh, you can uh, calculate your uh, diameter, a design, shaft design or uh, we call it uh, allowable uh, shear stress, this one. Okay, can have two uh, questions. Okay, and also I have uploaded the um, Tutorial. Okay, I have uploaded uh, the tutorial for uh, our uh, chapter 10. Okay, so uh, itu sahaja for today. Ada apa persoalan setakat ni? Kalau tak faham, saya harap boleh uh, bincang, tanya, tanya dalam dalam group. Okay. Uh...